kind of like the lead vampire, I guess, the head of the vampire establishment. My take on it was uh, that he was quite a nice guy, quite a happy, quite funny guy. He was very relaxed in his, in his, in his own company and very relaxed in his positions and in his opinions. So who do you get in here mostly this time of night? Staff mainly. Though we get parents too, of the kids in the children's ward. You can tell them a mile off. They take it in turns. Well, I'm sure they very much appreciate what you do. Actually, it's fine. What was that? More tricks? No, it's uh, manners. Him and Mitchell have had a history of, you know, carousing and, you know, sort of causing mayhem across the world. So he's got all that, that appetite and that, that absolute pure evil. They have memories of, of completely being in their element and um, relishing this newfound power. And then Mitchell wants to turn away from that. It's smoke and mirrors. You just want to feed. You just want to kill. But it feels so nice. I think Mitchell is kind of, he's the charismatic sort of leader, I guess, in some ways, or at least he was at the time. I mean, Mitchell is a, he's a valuable commodity for, for Herrick. In some ways, he needs Mitchell, I think, to do some of the things that he did, something that he's missing, he hasn't quite got. Or he's got the kind of charisma, let's say, in some respects. And I think Herrick maybe kind of likes that. He wants to be people, have people around him that are quite, you know, dangerous and dark. And he says that of uh, Mitchell that he had the blackest heart of us all, you know, and I think that Herrick likes that, admires that, it allows him to be dangerous, allows him to have a dark soul. So when it's suddenly gone, it's like, you know, I want that back. I kind of see it with a parallel of uh, kind of like a, an addict and a dealer. And, and Herrick seems to be the dealer, always trying to tempt Mitchell back. You know, he demolishes people and he wants, he wants slaves, he wants people to adore and worship him. This is nature, this is tectonic plate shifting, and the only thing, this is the only thing you and me get to choose is which side we're on when it happens. Something to ponder. <laughs>